Hi Lixoids, I'm Alexandria Long and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from today's title, we're going to be going, I don't know if I'm calling this hygiene shopping for fall or shopping for fall because I bought other stuff besides hygiene products, but it's mostly hygiene products. And I'm sorry it took me a minute to get this video out because I literally filmed this in the first week of October. But I've been so unmotivated recently to post and I just haven't had a lot of time because I've had a lot going on with school and trying to keep my grades up or at least like the standard I want them to be. But I'm working on it, but I'm back guys so from now on i'll just be posting uh i'm going to try to post at least two times a week because trying to post on certain days just isn't working for me because even though i thought it would help me create a schedule i end up like not monop what not monopolizing my time well but anyways without further ado let's just get right into this video and yeah all right you guys so right when i walked into burlington they had so much fall decor out so first thing i saw was this little room tree right here in the scent harvest spice it actually smelled it and it smelled pretty good but not good enough for me to buy it if you know what i'm saying then i also saw these other room sprays so they had this one which is orange cranberry that one smelled really good too very nice and sweet then they had that sweet pumpkin room spray and then they also had some sweet maple soap then down here they had these candles very beautiful they're both colonial candles and they were in the scent pumpkin pie cinnamon chai apple mist sweet peaches autumn spice then they had some more candles down here i smell these they smell pretty good they had this vanilla and coffee one then we also had this one right here then we had that blessed one right there and then they had these really cute mugs now i'm not really a mug person but these mugs were so big and i was obsessed with that mini mouse one and i know my nephews would like this spider-man one because they love him but i don't know if they use mugs like that because they're like five and and, uh seven i'm sorry not four, they're four and seven then they also had this really cute be thankful cup with snoopy on it and i was literally obsessed with it going down to the girl i don't even know what i just did but i'm showing you guys the cup basically i just picked it up to show you something else i spotted were these cute little thanksgiving finger puppets they were so adorable they also had this little cup right here that had jason on it i personally am not into horror like that but the cup was pretty cool Okay, guys, so the next spot I went to was the men's hygiene section. I don't know why I never come here when I make my videos, but they had a lot of products. As you can see, we had some Old Spice. We had some Mercedes-Benz scene products. They also had these we fall had this themed kitchen items and a, a bunch, bunch of themed themed sauce, it, as you But they had it in the regular, the sport. And then up here, we had some Axe, some Everyday Joe 24 Gold Face Mask. We also had this Ed Hardy cologne right here. And then we just had more Axe. But I was really amazed to see the men's section because i never look over here but we also had some curve we had some 360 very blue we had some echo you remember how popular that brand used to be in the early 2000s all right you guys so moving on we had some loofahs and a lot more body care products but then i spotted some dove men y'all know i love dove so we had some dove sports some dove clean comfort we had some regular dove invisibly dry deodorant some degree some axe then moving down we had these giant bottles of dove men i have never seen these before but they were pretty cool and they smelled so good but then we also had some old spice some tresemme we had some more dove body wash some head and shoulder Shoulders, some vaseline lotion and there was just so much to look at here and it was really exciting and then right here we had this nivea men continuing down we had this dove men deep cleaning bar soap we also had this dove men clean comfort bar soap and some face masks now, I know this isn't hygiene related but this bag was so big and I was literally obsessed with it I had to take a video of it all right you guys we are now at our next location which is ross let's just get right into it all right you guys right when i walked into ross i was so amazed by the cute little fall decor they had out it was so adorable look at this little candy bowl that is so freaking awesome i love that but i looked at it and it was 27 dollars, and i was like oh that's gonna have to stay in the store because um we're not doing that it was cute though but looking at all the little core they had this cute little charlie brown mummy mug i was literally so obsessed with it it was so cute and it was only four dollars i think four or five dollars but then right here we had this cute little gnome look at how cute that thing was and then we also had these nightmare before christmas bowls we had a little white pumpkin and I kept looking at that gnome because it was really adorable to me. But continuing on to the aisle, they
they had this cute little peanut Halloween like glass set. It was so cute, you guys. And I think I don't remember. Did I show the price? Let me see if I showed the price. I think it was ten dollars. I think I was trying to show y'all the price. Oh, it was twelve dollars. So that's not bad, but it was so cute. I didn't end up getting it though. But then we also had these cute little kitchen like accessories, you know, like oven mitts and stuff that had Charlie Brown peanuts themed. Am I the only one who loves seeing like uh peanuts or like Snoopy Charlie Brown stuff theme around this time of year? Then we also had these cute little Snoopy soup cups. They were so adorable and they were five dollars. I was literally obsessed with it. And we also had these cute little pours for your drinks. So I didn't notice this at first, but right behind this little Snoopy cup that that was adorable they had this really awesome nightmare before christmas cup look at that look at the inside of the cup that is so cute oh my gosh all right you guys so next up i went to the hygiene section and you guys know i was in love because they had so much dove so we had this dove right here which was the pistachio cream and magnolia we also had this cucumber one we also had this avocado abstract one right here like canola oil i actually have all of these i picked up that cool moisture one because it looked really interesting to me but i also have this dove warm vanilla and shea butter one and I was just really amazed because I've never seen this much dub at this location before. But we also had another one of the uh, pistachio ones. We had this collagen firm and brightening body wash. I smelled it. It smelled pretty good, actually. We also had this brand, which is Curie, and it was a daily moisture lotion. I've never seen it before, but it was $6, so I'm guessing it must be at least good. We also had this Nivea Soft Rich Moisture Lotion. And then we had this Bondi Sands, the Australian. Australian rain body wash moving down we also had this giant bottle of dove sensitive skin we also had this I didn't even I can't even remember I just show because I don't know what that was anyways we also had um just more various products that I've never really seen before and then I was trying to show y'all this guava shower gel right here because I thought it was kind of cool. I think I was holding stuff, so that's why the camera angles look like this. But they also had this violet one right here. But I smelled both of those. And they were like $8 a piece. All right, you guys. So as you can see, they had a bunch of loofah packs to choose from. I normally don't buy my loofahs in like groups like this. I buy them from Family Dollar because I like the sports ones they have. But they also had this silicone back scrubber. I've been wanting to get a back scrubber. I had the brush before, but I feel like the brush is very abrasive if you're not used to it. So I might try that one, but I'm not really 100% sure yet. Then they also had this cute little six piece electric brush set for your face and body, which I thought was pretty cool. Moving on down, they had pretty much the same thing, but it was like a different brand. And they also had this little nail dryer right here. So getting up, um, we also had this one right here, which was by Paris Hilton apparently, because she has her own little facial brush set, no, brush it, like a little electric brush for your face line, which I didn't even know. But yeah, we also had this cute little thing of Q-tips. So adorable, 300 for $3, nice. Next up, I went to the front where they have all the perfumes. There was a lot to look at, so I immediately spotted this Ariana Grande Cloud fragrance. I actually have this at home, and I really love this scent. It's one of my favorite perfumes, and it's very affordable. We also had this Jimmy Choo Flora one for $40. And it was actually crazy because my mom went on a trip. When she came back, she came back with this perfume. And I was like, I think our minds are connected. But we also had this Feminine by Noir. We had another Ariana Grande scent, which was Thank You Next. And then moving to the side, we also had this scent right here, which was Tommy Girl. I've been wanting to try that for a while, so maybe I'll get it today. But I'm not really sure. We also had Eternity for Women. I believe that was by Calvin Klein. And then continuing on, we had this one right here, which was Bora Bora. I thought about buying this scent, but I don't know. When you buy scents from like Ross or Burlington or anywhere, it's always hit or miss because sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're really not. But we also had this Ed Hardy perfume right here, which I actually had. But I took it back to the store because I liked it, but it wasn't really my cup of tea. Like I wouldn't wear it. We also had this Jimmy Choo um, Felicity Flower one. We we also had this curb. I've seen this very multiple times, but I've never tried it, but I am curious. We also had Burberry Touch, and this one was $20, well, it was $30 basically. 
All right, you guys, my next tab was Victoria's Secret slash Pink. I went on two separate days, but here's the first day. So the first time I went, everything was 25% off, and we had Bright Palms in the Mist. We had Beneath the Palms in the Lotion. We had Liquid Coconut in the Mist. Then we also had Liquid Coconut in the Lotion. Right next to that, we had this scent right here, which was Marine Splash. And then moving on down, we had Velvet Petals, La Creme, and basically like a body mousse, I guess. Then we also had Early Morning Sunrise in a mist we had horizon in the bloom in the lotion we had more bright palm and then moving on down we had believe i'm sorry believe coconut palm in a lotion horizon in the mist we why am i going so fast we had passion flowers in the mist we had early morning sunrise in a lotion then we had more like a coconut and you know pretty much the same thing i just showed you guys going around to the other side you guys we had a bunch more body care to choose from so we had some more early morning sunrise in a lotion we had before the rain some more marine splash body mist we had some wander, I'm sorry, beneath the palms. I was going to say wander in the middle. But we also had these little bins right here that just have various different scents in them. And I was just taking a look at them to see what they really had in there. But it was pretty similar to the stuff that was on the other side. But yeah, so everything on this day was 25% off. But they were also having a 5 for 35 sale. But continuing on to the next side, they had this falling water in the lotion. They also had this floating neroli. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it smelled really good. And and then we also had the Belize Coconut Palm in a mist. Moving on down, we had some more Horizon in the Broom Lotion. We had some Desert Lily, some Liquid Coconut, some Liquid Coconut in the mist, so as well as the lotion. Then we also had Horizon in the Bloom Body Mist. We had some Bare Vanilla, La Creme, once again, that's like the body cream. And then moving on down, we had pretty much the same scent. So we also had this Wild Primrose, this Saint Topaz, Beach Orchid. Right, you guys, now we're moving on to the section where everything was 5 for 35. So first off, we had the scent Amber Romance. The scent smells so good, you guys. We also had Coconut Passion. That smells okay, but it's not really my cup of tea. Next up, we had these over here, which were Vevid Petals, Pure Seduction, Untamed. We had Violet Lily. And basically, the Untamed scents, because we had them in Love Spell and Bare Vanilla, are just like a stronger version of the scents, and they smell so good. Continuing on with the theme of 5 for 35, we had Aqua Kiss and Midnight Bloom, which once again, these scents smell so good. I actually haven't had either of them in my collection, but I have smelled them multiple times and they smell amazing. Next up, we had one of my favorite scents from Victoria's Secret, which is Pure Seduction. My mom used to wear this when I was a kid, so I kind of got obsessed with it that way. Like when I smell it, it reminds me of my childhood. But we also had this Lost in a Daydream. We also had some more Pure Seduction. And then continuing on to our right we had another one of my favorite scents which is love spell basically if you like love spell you're gonna like pure seduction and vice versa all right you guys so continuing on with our theme for five for 35 as you guys could tell we have some more scents so we had patchouli rose and a lotion and a mist we had orchid santal we had jasmine cassis and violet lily i probably pronounced the orchid one wrong but it's okay but as you guys can tell they had a bunch of them in stock i smell those scents they're not really my cup of tea but they're okay so we also had aqua kiss over here we had coconut um palm and then continuing on to this side right here we had bare vanilla i tried bare vanilla it wasn't really my favorite thing at first i liked it but then i like uh sprayed it and it didn't really last a long time and i noticed when it sat for a while it didn't smell the same but maybe i just need to give it another chance but we also had that midnight blossom velvet petals which is another good scent as well all right, you guys, now moving on to the perfumes instead of mist and lotions. They had their new scent out, which is called Tease. I smelled it, and you guys, it smells really good. Very nice smell. Continuing on to the other side, we had Bombshell and like a lotion. Um, we had Bombshell Seduction. We also had Tease and like different varieties. So I didn't even know Victoria's Secret had candles, but they were on sale for $19. So they had Mistletoe Kiss. Um, they had Night Falls and also Sparks bloom i smelled all these y'all and they smelled so good mistletoe kiss was my favorite one i didn't buy them because i don't really use candles like that i prefer room sprays but they did all smell very good you guys like chef's kiss 
all right you guys so moving on we went to the ten dollar table so all these body care items were ten dollars for a limited time so we had the scent lavender vanilla and a mist a scrub and a lotion and then we also had this one right here which is pomegranate and lotus and a scrub lotion and body cream it smells so good we also had almond blossom and oat milk and coconut milk and rose and then moving on down we had cucumber and green tea i don't know how i feel about that scent yet but it's okay but then we also had some more variety down here at the bottom with the coconut milk and it's pretty much the same sense but in different varieties all right you guys next up we went to the pink side as you could tell on this day there were select mist and body care for 7.95 a piece and they had their new fall scents out so the first one i spotted was this extra apple scent right here when i tell y'all that is the best scent i've ever smelled well one of the best scents i've ever smelled from pink it smelled so good they also had this basic vanilla one i really like this because it kind of smelled like vanilla with a twist on it and it wasn't like a classic vanilla and y'all know of course since fall started they had this pumpkin spice latte mist and lotion out i pray didn't really care for it um but it wasn't horrible so you know i uh, if y'all like pumpkin spice latte y'all might like it but um i personally i don't know if i would wear it or not because i mm, i don't mm -mm, I, I don't i don't think so but then on the other side we had the same thing going on and they had one of their classic scents which is warm and cozy then we also had the fresh and clean scent and yeah so that was pretty much it for this little section all right you guys so continuing on we had some of the best sellers from pink so we had the first one which is warm and cozy and then moving on down we had fresh and clean and then continuing down we had this little honey one when i tell you i wanted to try it because it smells so good so i never knew that pink had candles but they were all 7.95 on the day i went i per i don't use candles so i didn't even know they had them but they had pretty much their body care scents in the candles which i guess is pretty common because that's what you know that the body works and victoria's secret does too so yeah okay guys so continuing on with the 7.95 theme we had some more extra apple which again is chef's kiss and then we also had some soft and dreamy we had some clean and fresh we had some more pumpkin spice latte and bare vanilla and they had a whole little picture for pumpkin spice latte which i thought was so cute but yeah there was a bunch of little items to choose from in that little section moving on we also had these scents right here which were 6.99 so we had braised coconut we had sunset sorbet and we had them in the lotion form and the mist as y'all can see then moving on to this wall over here where everything was 6.99 we had some of their newer scents that came out like a couple months ago like golden pear rose water sparkle and then we also had bright violet and all those smell really really good i haven't bought them before but i have tried them not tried them. i've smelled them you know and they're starting to smell good we also had this sweet fig and some more golden pear but yeah that was pretty much it for that little 6.99 wall that i saw all right you guys we are now at our next location which is t -t 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 target let's get it all right you guys so i was headed to the hygiene section and we're gonna start right here at the price right daily because we have a lot of little products so let's get right into it so the first thing i'm seeing is this olay uh plus vitamin c cleansing and brightening body wash then we also have this one right here the olay premium vitamin c body wash with retinol i actually haven't wanted to try one of these for a while because i hear really good things about these type of olay body washes in particular so i want to see if they're worth the hype but they're 7.99 a piece i don't know we might be getting one today but we might not be at the same time next up we have the olay hand wash so they have this one that has hyaluronic acid and the scent jasmine we have this one with collagen and the scent hibiscus then we also have this one right here which is orange blossom with vitamin c and they're all 4.99 and then right here next to it, we have a hand serum. That's four ninety nine. I don't know what a hand serum is. I've never seen it in my life. But um, I don't know. It could be something. Then we also have a little hand mask. Oh, I just knocked it over. My bad. We also have a hand mask, which is two ninety nine. All right, you guys, continuing on down, I'm seeing this Olay Hyaluronic Acid no Nourishing and Hydrating um, Lotion. I don't even know they made body lotion, but hey, this looks pretty cool and the bottle's pretty good. It's $10. We also have another one, which is the Collagen Firming and Hydrating, and then the Vitamin C Revitalizing and Hydrating for $9.99. We have this Olay body wash. So Olay has different body washes. They have these type these type and they have these type i've never tried these but i want to i have tried the ribbons ones down here before like i have um this pink one at home and i really like it because i bought it like months ago and i still have it like it takes a lot to 
use the whole bot sorry it doesn't take a lot to use it in the shower like i can do one squirt and my whole like towel or loof or whatever i'm using will like a uh, fizz up with like not fizz up oh my god i can't even speak it'll you know it foams very well that's what i'm basically trying to say like i've had this for like what five months now and i've only used like this much of it but yeah i really like that i haven't wanted to try this one which is another one because i have this one right here in the sim peony blossom but i haven't wanted to try this blue loudest i don't know if it's loudest or lotus but i want to try it they're both six dollars a piece but this one right here is what i was saying i have tried like this style of Ole body wash and i didn't really like it like i tried i don't even remember this and i just didn't like it same thing so like oh it was this one it was the shea butter one i did not like that one it dried my skin so i don't like these like the ones that are in these bottles because i feel like they were a little bit too harsh but i have this one i love the ribbons collection and i would like to try this new collection they have right here but yeah all right you guys we are now on the aisle that has all the soap and body wash and on the other side it has like you know all the shaving essentials but i'm so excited because i've never seen this much dove in one place at the same time in this it excites me but anyways let's just dive right into it you guys all right you guys as i mentioned there are a lot of products here like as you can you can tell there's a there's a lot to go through here and i forgot it's because i i came to a super target today i'm not at the target i normally shop at because this one was just closer to me from where i was previously but i'm so happy i did because look at all the products this is so exciting okay but yeah we're gonna start over here on the left and work our way down to the right because we got a lot to go through y'all but let's get it all right you guys so right out the gate we're gonna start with this dove deep moisture body wash so they have it in the big bottle and they also have it in this bottle right here i do love the smell of that but i feel like the fragrance is kind of strong for a dove product this is one of those dove products like i told y'all i really love dove dove has never done me dirty but i wouldn't buy this again just because like it was a little bit it's not for me like i felt like it would dry my skin because it had too much fragrance and but that's just one person's opinion because i personally have sensitive skin like y'all see me buy scented products all the time but i don't use them every day and most of the time i use like dove to reset my body and when i say reset i mean like sometimes i have to just go back to using my original dove sensitive skin i y'all know i love this body wash i will forever love this body wash i would marry this body wash if it was a person but yeah they have it in the tiny bottle and they also have it in the big bottle i actually just finished my big bottle so we're gonna go ahead and get another one of these it's like 869 but i promise y'all it's worth it because it takes a long time to use that whole bottle like i think i had that one for like four months and keep in mind i was using other products too so like it takes a while so i definitely say it's worth the money next up i have been wanting to try this right here because they're not these are new dove scents so they have like the irritation care and the soothing care I, and they're both 649 i've been wanting to try one of these because i have heard about them i've researched them before i go on my trips i always try to find new products i think i might like and see if they have them in stores but yeah i don't know we might try that but i'm not really sure yet so then we also have the gentle exfoliating body wash i've never tried that before but i have tried the soap which works pretty good but i've never tried the body wash going back up we have the refreshing dove cucumber and green tea scent once again the big bottles are 869 and the little ones are 649 but yeah i have this at home i have this size bottle like right here the one that's right here i haven't finished using yet because once again i do have a lot of products but i try to rotate using them next up we have this dove pampering shea butter and warm vanilla scent once again i have this at home love it i'm literally almost done i have this size bottle at home and i really like it next up we see this renewing peony and rose oil so the thing about this it has a very unique smell to me it kind of smells like if you ever play with a baby doll like when you were little that's what it smells like like i don't know how i don't know if that sounds weird but i feel like you know when you have like a baby doll when you were little it had like a certain smell like it wasn't a bad smell but like i don't know it kind of smells i don't want to say porcelain because it's not porcelain but like if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about next up we have this restoring coconut butter and coke coconut butter and cocoa butter dove body wash once again the big bottle is 869 i've been wanting to get this for a while but i think i might save it for winter time because it, it gives me more of a winter vibe than a fall vibe but going up we have some little hand soap so we have the dove we have the dove instant foaming oh that's a oh these are body washes my bad y'all these are body washes they're pump body washes they're all 649 i personally still might prefer to get the this bottle size right here just because i like these and they fit very they fit very well in my shower so i like those better but then we also have some packs of the body wash so they have the pampering shea butter one the refreshing one 
the gentle exfoliation and then the original deep moisture one down there but then we also have our dove body polishes y'all know i'm a fan of dove body polish this one right here is my favorite one this is the i call it the original one it's not really the original one but it's the crushed macadamia and rice milk one and i have gone through this year i would say like six of them because i really like these and then this one right here so let me tell you about the dove i'm sorry my brain's just going 2,000 miles out let me tell that so about the dove like mango sin i personally do not care for it when i first bought it i thought it was fine but then after using it for a while like the smell actually makes me sick like i can't i don't know it's not horrible it's just i can't use it anymore like i literally have the body wash like i have this at home and i have this at home and they're like halfway empty because i was trying to use it up just because i bought it but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that to do that but yeah next up we have the dove relaxing lavender oil and chamomile we have it in the bubble bath bath salt body wash i never have i let me oh my god i'm talking way too fast i'm sorry let me slow down okay let me take a breath all right so i've never used this before but i don't really care for the smell because it doesn't really smell like i don't know it doesn't i don't it's not my favorite smell would i buy it or if someone gave it to me would i be happy yeah but i don't think i buy it personally because i'm uh, not 100 percent in love with the smell i try to buy products that i really really like that i know i'm going to want to use and not just buy them to show you guys but yeah next up we have this dove antibacterial care body wash this one is 649 i actually have been wanting to pick this up so i'm probably going to get this because i have used this soap before and i really like it it cleanses your body very well it doesn't dry you out and it's very it still has a very nice clean smell to it like if you just want to smell clean but you don't want to smell too strong this will be the body wash for you so i'm probably going to get this one today but haven't decided yet have to think about that continuing down the aisle we have some more dove as you guys guess like i said i've never seen this much dove in one spot before it's actually a little bit overwhelming but it's nice so we have the dove hydrating aloe and birch water scent i've been wanting to try this for a while just haven't had the nerve to buy it but we also have another one i've been wanting to try which is the purifying detox with green clay we also have the dryness relief i have never personally i don't have dry skin i feel like my skin's kind of like combination in the winter it definitely gets drier like a lot of people's does but you know i've never bought that one but i don't know we might try it next up we have these olay body washes this is the ones like these containers i don't like these like i haven't tried all of them but i've tried like two of them and i just didn't like them but yeah they also have this olay rinse off body conditioner i've been wanting to try this it's eight dollars they have a matching body scrub that's ten dollars and then some more olay ribbons like we saw earlier but yeah um we also have some caress products down here i've been wanting to try that shea butter and brown sugar body wash but we're not going to get it here because you can get it cheaper at family dollar but they also have some stuff you can find in family dollar normally like the caress body uh soap the dial or day on it still don't know how to pronounce it irish spring and then some other brands over here like Swap. up here at the top we have some saint ives products i know they're not really their skincare always has issues but i've heard their body care is pretty good so they have this oatmeal and shea butter body wash we have a sea salt pacific kelp rose water and aloe vera pink lemon mandarin and orange and then this coconut water and orchid one right here all right you guys hopefully you're still with me so after all that we're finally at the end of the aisle so we have a lot of aveeno body washes here as y'all can see we have this aveeno stress relief body wash and it's like a lavender scent lavender chamomile and yin yang i i love that i love that yin yang then we also have this stress relief one for itchy skin itchy and dry skin we have a sensitive skin one with the pre pre prebiotic oat and almond oil we have the classic daily avino body wash then up at the top we have some bigger bottles of the stuff i just showed you guys but something new where i didn't see down there is this one right here so this is the prebiotic oat and camilla that looks very pretty but moving on down they have this brand right here called quiet and sore i've never heard of this brand i've never seen it before but it's on sale right now for 750 oh when you buy one the second one 750 but it looks pretty expensive but the bottles are pretty cool, so I guess that's a plus. They also have this Raw Sugar Kids. Once again, I've never tried this brand, but I love the bottles. Like, if I had a kid, I know my kid would want to get these, or like kids in general, because like colors, you know, stuff like that attracts them. So good on them for keeping that in mind. Then we also have some more Dial Soap down here. We have the brand Jason, the brand Coast. I didn't not know Shea Moisture made body wash, but apparently they do, and they have it right here. So they have in the sin Apricot and Honey, they can do oatmeal and vitamin E, or they also have green tea and olive oil. 
Then right here we have the brand called Hey Human. One thing I like about this brand, I've never tried it. Um, it's six dollars a piece, but they do have these really cute body washes, and I like that it's like a little tin can because they tried to. They're doing like plastic free packaging, and that does make me want to try it. I don't know if I'll get it today, but I do want to try it. And next up, we have some Method body washes. I've been wanting to try Method for a while. I just never have. So they have their little soap bars right here. They have the Stay Smooth one, the exfoliating bar. We have the like classic, I call it classic, but it's like a coconut, rice milk, and shea butter bar. Then we have for body washes, we have this one, the Peony, Rose Water, and Pink Sea Salt, the Chamomile, Star Frown, Blue Lavender. That smells, that smells, that sounds good. Hold on, let me smell this real quick, y'all. Let me smell this. Hold on, because that smells good. Mm. <laughs> That smells good, y'all. Hold on. Might have to get that. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, keeping on track, we also have another one. This looks like the basic one. It says, give thirsty skin a drink. <laughs> who, put, who put that on a bottle? That's funny. Okay, but then they have that one. I guess that's just like a classic scent. Then we have this one right here, which is the citrus, ginger, and sea buckthorn. Like these ingredients are intriguing me i want to smell this one now this smells okay not as sweet as i thought it was gonna smell but then like when you whenever you buy like body washes and stuff you never know because it could smell different like after it settles or like in the shower it could get sweeter or it could get duller so you like it's it's give and take with it you know Next up at the top, y'all, we have some more raw sugar products. So we have some body washes, such as this one right here. We have the avocado and cactus pear, very interesting. We have the watermelon fresh mint, vanilla bean and sugar, raw coconut and mango, lemon sugar, pineapple, mongoi, berry and coconut. We have a white grapefruit and rosemary. Then over there, it looks like, I can't really see it. Hold on, let me see what that says. I think, says green tea cucumber and aloe vera but yeah then at the top they just have some of uh, their like body scrubs up here and i've been wanting to try this brand right here called love and beauty planet because i've been seeing their products a lot and they get hyped up a lot or at least like when i watch videos they are hyped up a lot and i want to try them but they're really expensive like yeah so i don't know we might i don't know about that but then we also have this famous OGX coconut coffee scrub and wash. I remember everyone was trying to get this and it was like, you know, popular all over TikTok. People were trying to find it. Now it's just still in stores now. I thought about getting it before, but then I tried OGX and I didn't really like their products. Like I think I tried, what body wash did I try? I don't remember, but I tried when I didn't really like it. So I was like, eh, they kind of turned me off to the scrub and body wash or whatever it is. All right, you guys, we are now in the little shaving section. It's literally the other side. I'm sitting on the opposite side right now. But yeah, they have so many products. I'm not going to dive too much into it just because, you know, I did spend a lot of time over here at the body wash section just to show you guys everything. But if we just zoom in, we have the... I've been wanting to try this Aveeno body... Why do I keep saying body? This Aveeno shaving gel for a while because people have hyped it up. I keep saying that, but it is true. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I really want to try it. And it's $3.69. So it's like, what do I have to lose? But then we also have these EOS ones, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. And they have them in the scent Vanilla Bliss. We have them in the scent Pomegranate Raspberry. Then they have the shaving cream. I personally use shaving um, gels like this. I don't really use cream. Like, all my products are gels. But then we also have this Pure Venus one right here. This is a cream. But I have heard good things about that. And this Premio Shave cream in the scent french lavender I heard great things about that as well moving on down we're going to show a topic that i feel like a lot of people have mixed opinions about so here's nair if you never use nair i used to use nair like before i started shaving and honestly nair is really easy but you have to be careful with nair because if you leave it on for too long it will burn your skin like i have been there before where like i had put it on like on my underarms and it burned me because i left it on for too long but it's really not that bad and it does remove the hair as long as you follow the instructions and you know don't leave it on for a long time because you don't have to leave it on for a long time you leave it on for like three minutes and it'll knock all that hair off your body but then we also have some beet right here never tried it have heard people talk about it but kind of too scared to try it and then we also have this is that razor i told y'all about a long time ago that i wanted to try it's the sh sh i don't even know how to pronounce it Shkik um intuition sensitive care it's 20 dollars, so i don't know about that because then if you wanted to buy it you would have to buy like the refills for it 
and I believe the refills are over here. Like, look, here's the razor. Sorry, the razor is actually $9.79, and they have this one, which is the pure nourishment or the sensitive care. But the refills are like $12 a piece. So it's like, uh, what do you want to do? Because I've heard good things about it, but I haven't heard good things about it as well. So it's like, I don't really know. But I was actually looking for a big razor because they're on sale today. But the only big I'm seeing is in the men's section over here. And I already have this one at home. Like this one actually works really good. I don't have this specific one. I have this, but it's a five blade instead of a three blade. And it does work pretty well. I just have to find my extra blade. So it's like, I really should be buying another one. I shouldn't be buying another one. All right, you guys, we are now in the deodorant and like hand soap section, but we're just gonna focus on the deodorant. We're not gonna spend too much time here. I was thinking about getting some Dove deodorant because they're actually on sale today for like 150 off. So it's 150 off the sprays or the roll-ons, but I don't know if I'll end up getting it just because like, I don't know. I have, I really don't need any deodorant right now because I have, I'm perfectly fine with the one I have. I have been wanting to try this 0% one right here because they have it in a green tea scent. They also have it in a coconut pink jasmine scent. Oh, we have a sensitive one right here. Or we also have another sensitive one. Oh, okay. So, but then for the like regular sticks, they have the ones with the colors, you know, so it won't come off on your shirt. We have the even tone and they have them in scents. So they have the even tone rejuvenating bloom. Oh, sorry, not blue, blossom. They have the even tone calming breeze, restoring powder, restoring powder. Oh, it's still the same thing. And then moving on down, they have like the green tea one again. They have the pink one, the coconut scented one. But one of the brands I've really been liking right now is Secret. I actually have been using the Secret pH deodorant. Like the one, it's not here, but I've been using the Secret pH deodorant. I really like it and I haven't wanted to try other scents. I don't know, we might try one of those today. But this one right here, Degree Motion Sense deodorant is also a very good scent. Because it stays on for a long time. You don't have to worry about, you know, like sweating or anything. But it smells really good. So, I don't know. We might try a new deodorant today, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, All right, you guys. We are now on the lotion aisle. I'm not really going to go too in-depth because there's just a lot of products here. I'm seeing a lot of Nivea, a lot of Jergens, But I don't think I'll even get any lotion today just because, like... I don't really need any right now to be honest i do need like a basic non-tinted lotion so i might be getting this um dove body lotion right here because this is like new they haven't had like pump bottles before and i want to try it it's like sensitive skin has no fragrance it's 6.49 but there's a coupon for it right now so i think it'll be like 150 off so we might try it i'm not really sure yet though but the same thing for like this curel lotion um it has two dollars off so it would be like six dollars I remember before, before I started like getting into hygiene shopping, I would just use like Lubriderm lotion. It's pretty expensive, it's $8, but it does work pretty good in my opinion. If we move down to the bottom, we can see something that has been a huge like topic in the hygiene community recently, which is the Jergens Cloud Cream Lotion. I think I found it a couple weeks ago, but everyone's been talking about it and I kind of want to try it, but it's like, you know, let me, I smelled it. I didn't really, I wasn't really too fond of the smell. And I was like, do I really want to spend like $7 on a lotion when I don't even know if I really like it, you know? That's kind of the space I'm in because I did spend a lot of money today, so I don't want to spend another $7 if I'm not even going to use this. But I don't know. We will have to think about it and I'll get back to y'all. Okay, you guys, I was just about to walk away, but I literally saw this right here. It's like a Vino Daily Moisturizing Body Oil. And at first I wasn't, you know, gonna get it, but cause it's like $9, but I smelled it. And y'all, this smells so good. We might have to snatch it up. I don't know, and Aveeno has never done me dirty. Like I have used this right here, the Aveeno Eczema Therapy, and it works really, really well. My mom actually bought this for me when I started having like my issues in like winter time with my skin. And this repaired my skin in like a couple of days cause it does work really well. I actually have this at home right now. I haven't tried it. Well, I have tried it, it works good um but yeah i gotta get into my avino i totally forgot about avino avino has been mm, i don't know i might have to get this body oil because it smells pretty good i might have to get it i haven't decided oh uh, uh, i'll let y'all know the target bags have been secured guys and i got a gift card i'm gonna tell you about it when i get in the car bye bye target see you later love ya all right what's up y'all so we just got back in the car and i'm gonna tell y'all how i got my ten dollar gift card i can actually take this off because i'm in the car by myself but um so i got a ten dollar gift card because target is doing this thing well they've been doing it for a couple weeks now where if you spend a uh, forty dollars you get a ten dollar gift card so i did spend forty dollars i think i spent forty two dollars and i got a ten dollar gift card and i loaded it up to my target account to use my next shopping trip and i'm like yeah 
So I had to spend forty dollars to get ten dollars. Basically, I spent thirty dollars, but it's fine because now we have this for next time, guys. I already loaded up to my Target account. I'm excited. And if y'all haven't already, make sure you become a Target Red member. I am a Target Red member. Um, it's basically like this thing, like a couponing thing. You don't have to pay for it or anything. It's just like you download the app, make an account, and you can get coupons. Because that's how I get a lot of stuff I buy. Because a lot of times, y'all know I like to buy products like Dove or like Aveeno and stuff that are like expensive. I'm not plugging them at all, but I am plugging them. Target, if you want to sponsor me, no one's stopping you. But anyways, I'm just saying, yeah, no, honestly, you can actually get like save a lot of money because I have spent, I have gotten stuff sometimes that's supposed to be like $30, but I only spend like maybe $15 or $20 because Target Circle will be coming through and you have to make sure you check it. Like I check the deals every week and that's how I decide if I'm going to be going to the store or not. But I haven't came in a little while, so we bought out for a second. But yeah, now we're going to go to our final store and then we're going to head back to the house and do a haul. But yeah, see y'all the next one. Alright you guys, we are now at our final location which is Family Dollar. So I was looking for the Caress Brown Sugar Body Wash because, but unfortunately they don't have it. They only have the Tahiti Pomegranate and Coconut Milk, this new one which is the Charcoal and Pink Lotus or Loudest, however y'all pronounce that. They have the Black Orchard and Patchouli Oil and the Coconut and Oat Milk, so I should've just got it at Target, but it's fine because I can just get another day. This was the other Olay Ribbons Body Wash. I said I've been wanting to try the lavender one because I do have, not that one, but I have the pink one at home, but those take a long time to use, but it is only $6.50, so I don't know. But the main thing I came to get here is bar soap. This is where I normally get my bar soap so I want to get some Dove antibacterial soap um the because I did get the body wash I want to I like to have the matching body wash and lotion and stuff like that but yeah I want to get this so I'm probably gonna get this I don't know it's only how much is this is it three how much is it I can't see the price 350 so I'll probably just go ahead and get that because I have had this three pack before and I used it like I used all of it now with the Dove I don't know if I should get the three pack which is 385 or the 650 pack because I do use Dove sensitive skin a lot that's like the base of all my shower routines no matter what thin or fragrance I'm using I always use Dove sensitive skin because that's just it's just what works for me so I think I might get the big one just because I do use it all the time so well, I'll just put it there for now and we'll think about it but i have been wanting to try these up here these are soft soaps so they have the luminous oils one the shea and almond oil one and the coconut butter scrub i've been wanting to try those for a while and they're only 435 i've just been debating if i should get them or not next up we have some tone i have this up at home i haven't used it but i do have it at home but i'm getting ready to switch out my shower so i'll probably be using it in the next couple of days most likely but they don't have the caress body wash but they do have the shea butter and brown sugar soap so probably gonna go ahead and snatch that up it's a three pack i haven't used it before but i think i'm gonna just go ahead and get this because when i do have the body wash i want to have like the matching you know brown sugar bar soap but yeah that is pretty much it for what we're gonna be getting in here because i got a lot of stuff at the other store so yeah that's it Hi Luxoids! Alright you guys, so now it's time for the haul. I literally filmed this video, like it's about to be November, like I'm filming the haul part on Halloween, but I filmed the shopping part like three, like literally in the beginning of October, but I didn't post it because the weather, I live in Texas, and the weather is just now starting to change, so I wasn't really, I wasn't really in the fall mood. Like I'm not even in the fall mood right now, like I'm in the mood for um, Christmas like I already did my Christmas shopping but y'all are gonna see that video and all that because I'm gonna be decorating really really soon but anyway so we have a lot of bags to go through you guys a lot of stuff so I'm gonna try to go as quickly as possible because y'all know I ramble on I'm gonna try not to do that but I have some stuff from Burlington and Bath and Body Works, Ross, Five Below, Pink slash Victoria's Secret then we also got some stuff from Target and then we also have some stuff from oh my god i can't even yeah i'm struggling to pick up the bag my bad we also have some stuff from family dollar so let's just dive right into it i'm gonna begin with what i got from bath and body works i actually had got some soaps from there as well and i was gonna show them but i was like you know what i don't it's fine i it's fine but anyways so first thing this is all room sprays so the first one i picked up was this one right here which is flannel this is one of my favorite scents this year from bath and body works it smells really really good very nice and fresh the next one i picked up was lemon cello this one it just smells like fresh zesty lemon Hold on, let me spray because i haven't actually smelled it in a minute 
yeah it smells like fresh lemon and the thing i love about bath and body works um like room sprays it doesn't take a lot for them to like fill your whole room you could spray just one time and then the whole room will smell like that for a little while okay the next one i picked up was midnight blue citrus i actually this was the first scent i got in um a room spray from bath and body works it was a gift from somebody so i really love that scent the next one i picked up more in the theme of fall is apple spice toddy this smells really really good this is what I imagine, like, a baked apple spice, like, baked apple, what? Baked apple with spices it smell like. I don't know if that's, you, if you understand, you understand. Anyway, the next one I have is this one right here. So this is the scent leaves. Once again, one of my favorite fall scents from them. And it has a fresh kind of, like, sweet smell. I don't want to say fruity because it's not fruity, but it's like a fresh sweet smell. And then we have fresh fall morning, a very nice scent, very fresh. Then the other one we have is this one right here, which is a lip wow i cannot speak eucalyptus mint and this is just overall good scent and a body care item room spare whatever but that's everything i got from bath and body works next up i'm going to show you guys what i got from burlington so well it's burlington slash raw so i don't have the burlington bag anymore because i don't really know what happened to it but anyway so the first thing i got was this johnson's cotton touch face and body lotion y'all know i wanted to get this in another video i did but i literally forgot i think it was a hiding shop baby products video if you haven't seen that make sure you go check it out it looks like this and i'll link it down below but um i wanted to get this in that video but i went to the store and i literally forgot to get the lotion y'all and i was like this is what you came in for but yeah she left it to store but anyway the next thing i got from burlington was this little cup right here that says be giving it is so freaking cute it has charlie brown and snoopy on it i love this i love around the holiday season when i always see like a bunch of snoopy stuff or like peanut stuff in general um because it's just adorable so next up what i got from ross right here so the first thing i picked up was this perfume so this is um dreams by mariah carey i've been wanting to try mariah carey scent for a while so i just decided to take the plunge and go ahead and get it i'm not really sure how i feel about it yet so i have to update you guys later because i've only smelled it like one time so i have to i had to smell it a couple more times to give y'all a good analysis of it but the next thing i got from there was another snoopy cup and it's like he's dressed up as um what is it called i'm literally having a brain fart right now oh a pilgrim he just has a pilgrim and he has like a little, I'm going to assume this is a sweet potato pie. Even though it looks like an apple pie, we're going to say it's a sweet potato pie. But yeah. Anyways, moving on to what I got from Five and Below. I only got two things from here because I don't really, I, I if y'all remember when I first started my channel, I don't know if I put videos up about it. Like not even the channel, like my other channel. I am obsessed with Five Below. I love Five Below. But every time I go in there, I spend way more money than I intended to. Just like I did the other day. And I was like, mm -mm anyway the first thing i got was a facial brush i got this because i was keeping my facial brush in my shower and like my little racks in my shower i don't know if i've ever showed those to y'all but i have racks in my shower like to hold my products and i put this in there and it like fell it was like at the top one and it fell in my shower and it broke so i have to get another one but this one five below i use this a lot and it works really really good to like penetrate what penetrate and get all the dirt out of your skin and everything the next one i got is a foot filer once again because i had this in my shower and i dropped it and it broke so yeah and it stopped working uh-huh because when it broke i was like using the shower so like the water got in there but anyways it's besides the point like now all you know is like now i have two new ones because that's just what we have to do but anyways moving on to what we picked up from family dollars so the first thing i got were these cute little fall towels so we have this one that has like a supposed to be like a little pumpkin truck you know and it has like it's orange with pumpkins on it we got a blue pumpkin white pumpkin and an orange pumpkin then we also have this one that just has an orange white and blue pumpkin again and i just like the colors they're very pretty and this was only five dollars for this pack of six right here then continuing on i got this three pack of dove antibacterial um soap so i don't normally uh so let me tell y'all i have tried other soaps but my favorite overall is dove like i've been considering donating all my soaps that i have like because i have a drawer full of soaps over there and just donating them to a shelter because i'm not going to use them because i only at this point i only use dove not that the other soaps aren't good but like dove is the best soap i've ever used and i love these antibacterial bar soaps and i got the matching body wash from tiger which i will show you all in a minute but yeah works really good Next up, I got these Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Soaps. Now, once again, I said I love Dove, but I've never tried um, this scent before. A lot of people talk about the Brown Sugar Caress scent, and I wanted to see what the hype was about. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the matching body wash, but 
I did get this. So we're going to see how that goes. Oh, sorry. I was looking at a group chat. I'm in. Anyways, the next thing I got were these pimple patches. Well, they're blemish patches, but they're basically pimple patches. That's it's the exact same thing. But these are only a dollar for family dollar, and these work really good, y'all. Like, don't underestimate just because they're a dollar, they're not gonna work. I promise y'all they work. They like suck everything out of a zit or pimple, whatever you have, and it makes it a lot less apparent. Is it yeah, a lot less apparent on your face. But next thing I got was two loofahs. This was the other one because I actually already put the other one in my shower because I need to use it. Then I got my favorite bar soap ever, the Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. You know, I love this soap. I will ride or die with this soap, but it's my favorite soap overall. I think beefing is your fat. I'm good. Anyways, the next store we're going to look at is Target. So I believe I got more things than this from Target, like tiny products, but I don't know where my tiny products went. So we're just going to focus on the big products I got. So the first thing I picked up was this Dove Sensitive Skin um, Body Wash. I have been using it in my shower, which is why it kind of looks messed up. I don't know if I can even see that, but it has like suds and stuff on the side because I actually have been using this in my shower. So once again, I said I filmed this video like I filmed those shopping parts like weeks ago but yeah i've been using it this is my favorite body wash ever the next one i picked up is this dove antibacterial body wash to go with the one i already have for um the bar soaps i picked up for this one and then the last one i got was this one right here so this is the olay cleansing and brightening vitamin c body wash i've been wanting to try these types of body washes from olay for a while because people have talked about them now in my personal now, this body wash okay so this one is nine dollars i pay nine dollars for this because i know it works i love it and i would literally buy it for someone recommend it to people because i love it now this olay body wash it's not bad because it does suds up really well um not suds it foams up really well in the shower makes a very nice foamy little feeling so if you like that you're probably gonna like this it has a nice smell like it has a nice smell but the only thing about it i don't know it's just something i can't put my finger on something i don't like about it like would i pay ten dollars for it again probably not like i that's just the way i feel about it i've only used it like one time in the shower so maybe i have to get another chance but like it's good it works well but maybe i just need to find what product works it because i was trying to match it with some scents and it didn't really go well but that's what it's about you know experimenting in the shower seeing what works together seeing what doesn't work together so you know you can go out smelling nice and fresh but anyways you want what Anyways, moving on to the second bag I got from Target. I'm sorry. Y'all know I can never talk every time. I, every time I film, I be having issues speaking. But so the first thing I picked up was this Aveeno moisturizer. And it's like a body oil. I did not even know Aveeno had body oil. But I've been wanting to try body oils. But it's a body oil mist. And it smells extravagant, y'all. And I believe this was not. I'm sorry. I lost my receipt. But I believe this was like $9. So we're going to see how that goes. And I'm literally, there's lotion on the back of it. So my lotion I have in here busted. Oh my god. Oh my god. And my receipt has lotion all over it. Oh, oh my god. The receipt's literally gone. The receipt's clear. I'm d Dang. Well, anyway. So, the lotion... What the heck happened? So, apparently, this lotion busted, but it's... It's the Dove Sensitive Skin Care Lotion. I've never had this before and I wanted to try it. And I'm just now realizing it literally busted. It worked good. But it literally busted all over my other products in this bag. So. It smells good. Anyway. The last thing I picked up from Target was this Degree Motion Sense Deodorant. I have used this before. I think the first time I ever did a hygiene shopping video. Which was all the way back in like. January maybe I think it was January because like hygiene videos are really popping off back then like they were getting extremely popular oh, they were already popular but like they were getting more popular they were, they were kind of trending at the moment you know what I'm saying so I this was the first product I got and I really like it um it's a really good deodorant and one other one I can recommend is um I'm sorry I'm having a brain fire if you want some skincare for or like body care for sensitive skin people go to I have a whole video on that on my channel which I think I posted in like June or July but go check that out but anyways now we're gonna move on to what I got from pink slash Victoria's Secret because excuse me I'll have to break but I spent way more money here 
than I intended to. So basically what happened was I just went to the mall on a random day. Like I feel like Victoria's so when Bath and Body Works has a sale or something, I get notified because I have email notifications. But when Victoria's Secret or Pink does something, I don't know why, but every time I go to the store unintentionally I end up being in like um I end up shopping the sale. And I don't even know they're having a sale, but every time I go in there they're having a sale. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But anyways the first thing I picked up was this in right here. So this is warm and cozy and I got it in the lotion and in the body mist. I've never had warm and cozy before, but the girl in the store was like, oh my God, you have to get it. It's amazing. Da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, because it's supposed to be like one of their most popular scents ever. And I smelled it in the store and it smelled pretty good to me. Mm, it smells pretty sweet. It has, so the notes in this are soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'm gonna have to like wear it because I find that sometimes I smell stuff and when I put it on my body, I either like it more or I like it less. So we're gonna see how that goes. The next thing I picked up was Aqua Kiss. So I got this once again in a mist and in a body lotion. If you know, I like matching my scents together because it just makes it easier in your routine, like enhances your, I feel like if you have the matching lotion, it enhances your perfume or mist, whatever you put on. But yeah, I got this. It's once again a really nice smell. So the scents in this, the scents, the notes in this are cool waters, bright daisy, and make a, it just says make a splash. I'm dead. Not that. Not me thinking that was a note. Anyway. Yeah, that's not good. Ugh. It kind of smells like a men's body wash. Like, not even gonna lie to you, but it smells good. Like, it smells really good. All right. Next thing I picked up was Basic Vanilla. So this is one of their fall scents. I got it in the mist and in the lotion. So one thing I like about this, I don't normally like vanilla. I like some vanilla stuff, but it has to be like a a, a different type of vanilla. Like I love um, what is it called? It's not. Why do I keep saying stuff? It's not coming to me. But I like this in because it doesn't smell like a classic vanilla. It kind of smells like a little bit sweeter. And it has some toasted. I'm sorry. It has some. I, I don't know. It just tastes different. And I like it. But the notes in here are toasted marshmallow and warm chai. And it smells pretty good in my opinion. And then next up. Sorry. I keep storing my allergies. And they're really messing with me right now. But next up we have Velvet Petals. Once again, one of their best sellers. I've been wanting to try it for a while. So we're going to see how it goes. But the fragrance notes are Lush Blooms and Almond Glaze. Put that over here. And then the next thing I got is Nectar Wave. So I got it in. I got it. So I already had it in the mist, but I got it in the lotion. I don't know why I put this in here because I already had it in the mist. But I got it in the lotion too because I wanted them to be matching. So I'm going to be trying out these products to see how I like them. And one thing I like about Victoria's Secret uh, slash Pink, they have like a 90-day return policy. So if you don't like it, you can't return it within 90 days, which is great for me because I'm indecisive and I don't know if I should return stuff or not. So I'm like, do I want to go all the way back to the store? But, da -da -da. but anyways, the next thing I got was Wander the Meadow. So I believe I have this in a lotion, um, which is why I just bought the mist. But yeah. And then the last thing I got was Extra Apple. I actually have this in the mist and in the lotion. I've been wearing this a lot these last couple of weeks which is why i don't know where the mist is because i wore the mist like a couple days ago and i don't know what i did with it because i like just cleaned my room like as y'all can tell that's why it looks kind of like empty in here because i just cleaned up but yeah now it's gonna be dirty again because like look at all these products mm. Mm. anyways but anyways, that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that big or subscribe button and become a Lexoid. Because I love to have you and I'm sure the other Lexoids would love to have you guys as well. So I updated my posting schedule because I realized I try to post. So before I said I was going to post Tuesdays, um, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But now I'm just going to post whenever I want because sometimes I've been wanting to post on days that are un that are not those days. If I film a video or I have stuff done or I just don't have things. Basically, I post every week. I'm going to try to post at least two videos weekly, so be tuned for that. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.